I'm an entrepreneur. For the past five or six years, I've dedicated most of my brain power and my time and effort to Slidebean, the company that I started along with these guys. And things are going pretty good. And it's very easy to get lost in work, especially when you're so passionate about the company that you started. But I do a bunch of other things. Uh, I go to college because I dropped out when I started the company. Uh, I became a dad in the process, so I have to set aside important family time. Um, I make these videos for this channel and I say all the time, but I'm training to go to Everest Space Camp in a couple of months. And the only reason in which I can get away with all of this is because I'm extremely organized with my time. So I wanted to make this video to show you the bunch of other things that are important to me and to show you my system, how I managed to fit it all in into a week's calendar. So this is a week in my life where we're gonna call this entrepreneur life. Mondays are pretty efficient days, I think. It lets me plan out what I expect that I'll be able to achieve over the week. The schedule gets booked by people and meetings and team members, and I work in those kind of middle spots. Uh, the only day that I've reserved for exclusive work is Wednesdays, which I try my best and not allow anybody to book me on Wednesdays. Now, an extra challenge for the months of January and the months of July is that my daughter is on school vacation. <laughs> Pao leaves for work 7 a.m. or so, which means that I get to babysit in the mornings. I have to go to class three times a week, which is a mess for any schedule. When I started Slidebean, I dropped out of school. I think it was the right choice. Being the CEO of a company has taught me so much more than school will ever, will ever teach me. And as I go to school now and I sit in class, I can see how you know this real life experience is just priceless. I struggled with whether I should go back to school or not. There's this terrible conflict for me because I sit in class and there's urgent stuff that needs to be done at the office. So what's the priority for me? Is it paying attention in class or is it you know, doing work that has direct impact into a lot of things? Now, I've made some good choices and some bad choices in my life. But the best choice I've made is moving one block away from the office. I walk to the office just one block every day. The biggest secret to being a startup CEO is really multitasking. You need to be able to be on so many things at once and facilitate work for a lot of people. That's, that's essentially what I do all day. Uh, I go into meetings with the team and I help them kind of achieve what they need to do. So the way I break down my schedule and my time is first priority is meetings. Those come first in the calendar. Second priority is email. So I try to reach inbox zero, which is anything that's solved gets archived and anything that's pending still stays on the inbox. Next up comes Slack, which used to have a higher priority, but it's just very, very distracting. I've been kind of muting Slack so that I can focus in work. Because after all of these priorities, the last priority for me is the actual work that I need to do. Payroll, fixing the website, and so on. So uh, I usually try to get involved wherever the company needs me most. So the secret as a CEO is knowing that you're gonna be distracted by people asking you questions pretty much any time of day, many times urgent stuff, and you need to be able to solve that quickly, refocus your brain into the stuff that you need to do, because otherwise you don't get anything done through the day. All of this goes through 5 p.m., which is the time where our babysitter leaves, and that becomes my main family time.
There's no special story behind tennis. I needed to train for Everest, I needed to do cardio every single day, and I hate going to the gym. So tennis has worked out pretty well. I uh, come down here to train pretty much every single day uh, from one to five hours. And I think and hope that that's gonna be enough for the hike and the Himalayas. We'll find out. Eva is staying at my mom's place for a couple of days. So in a day like today, I would drop Pao off at work and then head down to the office. Today is a calls day. A lot of founders reach out to me personally because they, they want help, they want me to get involved or they want me to look at their pitch deck and give them advice in their fundraising. So a few weeks back, we launched a new Slybean plan that we called uh, Slybean Founders Edition. The plan includes access to our team so they can book uh, a kickoff call with me and, and design reviews from our design and analysts team. So that makes uh, some days in the week full on call after call days. This is some thick fog. So today's an exception day. Normally Wednesdays are my work day. So uh, it's a day where I completely block out my calendar so nobody can book me and I can dedicate to working on the stuff that I normally do. But today I'm taking the afternoon off to do some night photography. I took this class on astrophotography from a group of amazing photographers down here. The reason I'm doing this is because I wanna definitely up my game for my Himalayan photos. I think I made a mistake and decided to take a shortcut that Waze pointed me to. It was a tough road. <laughs> Not the best idea. Fifteen now. Uh, that means I'm 15 minutes late for class. I haven't even checked my email because there's no signal in the volcano. I'm gonna have to use some of my time in class to catch up with work. So today was very much an exception. Of course, I drove back from the volcano, which is a couple hours. I had class and I'm only arriving into the office now, which is like 4.30 p.m. to get started with work. And even though I'm gonna finish working late, uh, I think that the value of this flexibility is just priceless. So if there's a tip here is find a job that gives you the flexibility to do this from time to time. In my case, I just get to define this policy for the company. Uh, and I think that everybody uh, appreciates it. Um, I love working at night, by the way, which I think would be another tip here. Um, the big advantage of working at night is that you're not distracted by emails or by anyone talking to you. Um, and you can sort of replicate this with, with a method I've seen called uh, airplane mode. So it's, it's the idea of replicating the experience of working on a plane where you're completely offline, nobody can distract you, you can't get distracted by Facebook or Reddit or whatever. And it's really useful and I can sort of replicate that at night and that's why I like working at night. You can do it during the day too, of course, but you know you have to dare to turn off your Wi-Fi and, and I don't know if every job is compatible with that. <laughs> Whew, Fridays. Fridays are cool. We have the slide being open in the morning. I convinced part of the team at Slybean to play tennis with me on Fridays and they've been getting onto it. But um, Fridays are important to me because they're a key day to get everything done so that you don't have work spilling over the weekend. And this brings me to my last topic as an entrepreneur, which is a quote that I'm stealing from somebody, that startups are marathons, not sprints. At the earliest stages, you're uncertain about what's gonna happen with your business. Uh, you're running out of money soon, so it's fine. I think it's fine to you know work as hard as you can work late nights and do everything you can to get this business through. But as soon as you find some stability in the business, I think that you you need to switch into marathon mode. Marathon mode is being prepared for the fact that you're going to be running this company for five, 10 years, and you need to save your energy and ration your energy through all of that journey. 
And, and one of the key ways to do it, I think, is making your free time sacred. Emergencies are going to happen and you're going to need to get out of your weekend mode and get back to work. But in general, if you make it a rule to respect that time and, and use the time for whatever you want to do. You know, for, for me, it's playing video games. It's a little bit of making these videos, of course, family time, but protect that time. I think that's that's been key. I was almost burnt out uh, a couple years back. And, and that's what drove me to decide and, and learn to make this time. And it's been super valuable and it's given me the energy I need to, to keep going as a CEO. That's that. Entrepreneur life is, I think, not that glamorous, at least for companies our stage and entrepreneurs in, in my stage. But it's fun. Thanks a lot for watching. Everest Space Camp in a couple of months. If you want to stay tuned for that, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next week.